myself Nitish Suresh. I am assistant professor, civil department, Trinity College of Engineering. Today, I am going to take a small lecture on design of shape structures. The topic: connections. Connections, as you all know, they are structural fasteners that are used to connect different members or structural parts together. A steel structure is an assemblage of different parts such as beams, columns, etc. They are connected together divided by these certain fasteners or structural elements. These are known as connections. So there are different types of connections which include rivets, wells, pins and also bolts. So basically pins are used only in mechanical structures and also wells and bolting and riveting are the most common. So we sh let's see what is rivets and bolts. Okay? You know, rivets, there are different types of rivets, which include based on the head, that is round headed, pan headed, flat headed. Okay. How you represent a rivet? It is represented by the shank diameter, that is the diameter of the shank. That is how you represent a rivet. A rivet, a normal diameter is 16 mm diameter, is the normal diameter used for rivet in steel structures. Similarly, bolts. Bolts also, they are represented by a representation like this. Which means this is M means metric size, B is the shank diameter. For example, M 16 into 70 means 70 represents the length of the shank of their bolt. 16 is the M of represents the shank diameter. This is how we represent the bolt. I mean, when you see a bolt, you see a representation like this. This represents the grade of a bolt. That is 5.6 represents the grade of the bolt. That is where the ultimate tensile stress represented by the FUB from this 5.6 we know this is 5 into 100 is equal to 500 MPa. Similarly, the yield stress, yield stress represented by FYB which is given as 5.6 right? So 0.6 into 500 is equal to 300 MPa. This is what this 5.6 grade of bolt represents. What grade? So that is how the bolts and the rivets are classified. Now, basically, connections are I told you there are three, four types of connections. We see bolts and rivets. And now we see the classification of different types of classification. How we classify different connections? Connections can be classified as first one based on the force action. Based on the force action, it can be of two types. First one is simple connection and second one is complex connections. A simple connection means there is only one, a single type of load or stress acting through it. Usually the transfer of shear stress is common. Okay, That is simple type of connection. Next one is complex type. The complex type of connections which include complex eccentric loadings. That is, the, there is a tendency of creating moments in them. We are called complex type of connections. That is, under force action. Next is force transfer. Based on the force transfer, again the connections can be first one bearing type and second one is frictional type. The bearing type of connections as you hear that bearing that is the main action force acting on us. The transfer of forces is by bearing action. That is if you see a connection of two different plates so connected by a rivet or a bolt, the action is bearing action. Okay, this is force transfer by bearing. Next is frictional type. The frictional type which include the action is through friction, that is both shearing as well as friction, that is sliding of one force, one body over the other. It is frictional type. And this length is known as grip length. That is the, the area or the length which provides the grip for the bolt or the rivet is known as grip length. That is thickness of this member plus thickness of this member. So classification based on action and force transfer. The last one is classification based on force experienced on the body. Based on force experience can be either shearing, that is 
shearing forces experience and or it can be bearing or tension force and D combined force as you know shearing forces include that is sliding forces that is shearing force which includes two types first one is lap conditions second type is butt conditions these come under shearing shearing forces experience on the body and we can can be made by two that is lap conduction and butt conduction next and also tension force usually tension forces the example comes under hangers that is hanger load that is a body is here and if the load is tensile force we can provide a bolt over here and a bolt over here this is how the tension force is applied on the body that is tension T is applied next is combined combined loads which includes all these forces coming together that is moment as well as shearing bearing and tension all together comes under the force experience and let's see how the lap joint or butt joint are created lap joint is include as the name suggests lapping of one member over the other that is this is how a lap joint is provided this is how the force acting on okay similarly a butt a butt cover joint it can be of two types it is single cover or double cover why we use this, this much types of connections means, means that lap connections the center of gravity is not equally distributed but in butt connection we provide butt covers over a single body or a plate similarly this single cover butt joint or double cover means it has two covers over the butt over the plate Usually, double cover butt joint is usually more preferable. Therefore, these are the types of connections. Now, we find this is the classification that is basically first one force action, force transfer, and force experience on the body. Okay. Now, we shall see how the specifications of a bolting or electric connections. represents the bolt line the bolts are provided like this this length is known as pitch that is it is defined as the, the horizontal the distance between center to center distance between two bolts or rivets taken parallel to the direction of loading it's known as pitch similarly if you take like this this is called as gauge it is the center to center to center distance between two bolts or rivets taken normal to the direction of loading and similarly this distance is known as that is taken horizontally to the from the same end bolt or rivet to the edge is known as end distance and also similarly on the taken normal on the upper side from the Center, center of the bolt to the upper end is known as edge distance. That's how the different uh, how the bolts are arranged and different different types of connection the arrangement they are staggered diamond arrangement different types are suggested and designed based on the requirement. So this is how the connections are defined. Different types we have seen bolts and rivets and also different, another type of connection is there. It's known as belt. Will be taken out in a later uh, later lens. Thank you.